Okay. This past week was, uh, ah, uh, this past week was something else. It was, it, you know, those weeks when you look back and you're like, what happened this week? But you're exhausted because you got so much done. Uh, yeah, well, anyhow, I'm Jesse. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing fewer and fewer hats these days because if I, if I wear, I found that if I wear a black hat, it throws off the white balance. I, no, I've got this webcam and, and it, it's got an AI in it and it decides to make my face look pale, which actually I think it's doing right now. Let me see if I can, um, yeah. Anyhow, it, 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 it all of a sudden decides that I need to look like a ghost if I wear a hat that's black. I, it, 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 things too smart for me. I can't figure it out. So I'm wearing fewer and fewer hats these days. And, uh, no podcast weekly. I'm covering, uh, just, you know, it's, it's good to look back over your life and to see what your progress has and hasn't been. It's good to be regular about stuff. I hope you have stuff in your life that you do to stay regular. And I, I don't mean doctor regular. I mean, all right. So, um, this past week, PacificallyTimes.com, I did a lot of work on the back end, polishing stuff, adding some features and abilities, working out bugs and kinks because this past week was debut week. I really launched the thing last Monday. In fact, I delayed the podcast and stuff so that I could get the site up and running. Um, it's, it's working. It's a refined machine. Um, I, you know, I want to tell you just a little bit about how this PacificallyTimes.com thing works, because I really hope that you think it's worth going to, to find out what's happening in the world. I'm a news junkie. I'm constantly following the news. And the only reason that I didn't bookmark and link and share articles as much as, as I do now, the reason I didn't do that before is just because I didn't have a means of doing it. And now I've written the software so that PacificDailyTimes.com is updating the actual stuff as it happens. Now, this a lot happened in Hong Kong this week. And a lot happened with England and Hong Kong this week. And I'm going to be talking about Britain, excuse me. I'm going to be talking about that. Oh, by the way, um, if you're watching the YouTube channel, and this, is, of course, is available on 500px, there's this strange bamboo tower structure behind me. Uh, I took this at high noon or 1 o'clock, something like that. This... This was built, um, it, it, the, the location is indicated on 500px.com. This was built, I think, by a British guy in Taiwan. But within the past few months, there was a terrible story about some kid went with a class field trip to go swimming, but he didn't bring his swimsuit. So he was sitting inside a bamboo hut on the beach and... The hut randomly collapsed in on him and killed him. Um, moral of the story, it can be deadly if you don't take your swimming suit to go swimming on a field, swimming field trip outing. Um, anyhow, so Taiwan's solution is not, of course, to bring code or registration or inspection for, you know, uh, there's, uh, people in tropical islands see bamboo sticks and they randomly decide to build things. It's, it's we people develop and build things. And so people would build these bamboo huts to provide shade and to keep their surfboards and make little, you know, beach party huts on the beach. They just do this. And now Taiwan's government solution is to tear them all down because all of them are evil um, because one structure wasn't carefully looked at to see if it's safe or not. Um you know, again, I, you know, this is what I, I'm really learning this about politicians that like, this is something that I'm wrapping my hands around. Most politicians don't know what society needs. They're only good at talking to the different worms and cutting backroom deals for things that they don't care anything about and playing the power game and staying in charge for no reason other than to stay in charge. That's what most politicians are. And that's mostly what their work is. Every once in a while you get an idealist like Trump or <clears throat> Justin Amish of Grand Rapids, the Grand Rapids district. Um, we, we, we get 
we get people that come in and have ideals and a conscience. I, I, Aim is saying that Trump had an impeachable effect. That's not for a con. I, I don't know. I have. I have issue with that because I think he's expressing too much opinion and alarm. He's too easily alarmed. But the reasons he stated for leaving the Republican Party in the Washington Post, I, those those all look like good reasons to me. They're, those are great reasons. Um, I'd like to see the People's Party get started. Um, I, I'd love to see it. In fact, I, I, I shared that at the Times this week. Um, all right. Anyhow, politicians. Uh, so th- this bamboo structure behind me, I took some pictures of it and got some video of it while it's still there uh, because the British guy decided he's going to tear it down. He's going to tear down his own work rather than having the government tear down his work. Um, but he built it some years ago. It's, it's been here as long as I remember being in Taiwan. Um, it probably should come down, but it's quite the structure. It's, it's quite the amazing structure he built. It is a very, very tall thing. Um, uh, where was I? Pacifically times.com. I, this, um, well, I'll tell you just a little bit about it. Articles near the top of stacks have a different color. I worked that out this week. Um, if, if anything that was added today on today's date, it appears in a, in a, in a brighter color, whether you're doing the, the, the white theme or the dark theme. Also, I, I've got a thing where I prioritize some articles with three levels. There's bold, there's bold and a little bit big, and there's a bold and a little bit bigger. And there are these three ratings that I'll give some articles. So some articles might be extra large or bold. And that just means that I think that they're really good summary reads if you're looking for stuff to summarize. I may not always have articles in bold like that. Uh, it just if I think something's really worth, where you see, Drudge will put something as the top story. Me, I, I keep stuff in the order that I add it. All right. Anyhow, I've I just I've got a lot of bugs and kinks worked out in in the times, and I, I'm I'm just I'm really happy with the way all this works. Um, I I hope that that you know, please talk about SimplicityTimes.com. Something that I've, I've thought about and, and, you know, in life, we have these decision-making times. You have to sit and look and assess. And I'm looking at whether to take my computer teaching curriculum and put it into a, a curriculum that I can market and sell to help people learn Linux. Even if you just, you want to be a manager, you're going to have to work with tech guys at some point, or you work with people who work with tech guys. And it's good to just know language. If for no other reason to manage or to just understand your, your own computer, install Linux on your computer and know how it works a little bit more. Um, I've got a curriculum for this, but as the, the more I keep working with stuff and like refining the Pacific Lake Times site and, and getting other stuff up and working, the more I realize that there's stuff that needs to be added to the curriculum. So I'm not going to do that yet. And then likewise, the same thing with my English teaching curriculum. Um, Maybe it needs to be refined more before I, I make it an outright fully fledged curriculum. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm focusing, I decided that I'm gonna take the leap and I'm gonna I'm gonna I, I understand PHP a little bit, but I've never really worked with PHP to to build an app. Sorry if, if this is over your head, but it's a it's a common computer language. It's been around since the nineties. Um a lot of websites use PHP to log into stuff. And I think I'm g- my next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to learn the PHP code in depth and I'm going to write a PHP app and I'm going to monetize specifictimes.com and I'm not going to harass people with ads. You're welcome to advertise on it if you've got something you need to. I don't I don't know that you will, but I'm I'm going to I've I've got a concept and idea to to non-invasively and very usefully and helpfully uh, make it a good marketplace for a lot of people. So I'm, I'm going to, I've got a, I've got a plan. And so I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to take the leap and I'm, I'm, you know, last night, um, I, I borrowed an empty hard drive from a friend so that I could do some Linux install stuff. And I found out that my computer doesn't have the problem that I'm trying to demonstrate online. So I was trying to make a teaching video last night and I don't have the stuff to do it. And I think I need to focus on other things. And I'm going to write this PHP app for PacificDayTimes.com. That was my interesting week. Thanks for listening to this podcast weekly. Taiwan special starts tomorrow. See you then.